Hello, today I have one of my favorite recipes that I'm so looking forward to sharing with you, Escovich. Uh, this is one of my um, dishes that I experienced when I lived down in Jamaica. I also have a favor to ask of you. I would like to ask that you pass this on. Um, that's the new Jamie Oliver revolution. And um, if you pass it on to a friend and they pass it on to the friend, my goodness, we can get the whole world cooking. So let's get going. Okay, I've got fresh group or fresh halibut here today. Um, I wish I was in the islands and had my grouper and my snapper. I always season with fresh lemon juice. That's a starter and you can use that with anything. You could use that with beef, chicken, pork, if you're watching your sodium. Um, so we got some nice kosher salt. I use a little fresh fresh ground black pepper, and let's get this cooking. I want to show you how easy it is to do. I got a little bit of oil in my pan. I'm just going to lightly dredge my um, fresh halibut and a bit of uh, flour. If you're celiac, you're more than welcome to just skip this step. It doesn't, it's not necessary to, um, to thicken the sauce or anything like that. Okay, let's dredge that. Lightly dredge, we're not making fried chicken here. There we go, and we're going to brown that up. And when you're cooking, and you're cooking with gas or electric, whatever it is, make sure your pan is good and hot when you put your fish in there. I want to hear the sizzle of the pan. I always put a little butter in mine with my oil. There we go. Not only flavor, but color. Okay, we should have a nice golden brown on that. Oh, that's a nice brown. So we're going to sear that in. I've got julienne of tomato. I've got julienne of carrots or um, onions, pardon me. Julienne of pepper. And I picked tricolor peppers. Let's get that in the pan. And I'm a freak for garlic, so it doesn't matter. One, two, three, four cloves, get it in the pan. I can smell it, I've got everything going on. Now we're gonna start on our sauce. This is how quick, quick it is. I'm gonna deglaze my pan with a little bit of vinegar. I love the apple cider vinegar. I'm gonna deglaze it with a bit of white wine. If you wouldn't drink it, don't cook with it. I'm going to add a little bit of my hot sauce. That's Curly's hot sauce. And a little Worcestershire sauce. All right, now, our fish is cooking and fish cooks quick. We're gonna finish our sauce here with a bit of ketchup and please don't laugh at me, but this is our, um, our binding agent here. And there we go. It's kinda like a sweet and sour. I bet you can almost taste it right now. And this will thicken our sauce. And the hot sauce is absolutely up to you. You can omit that if you want. Our fish is just about ready. Our sauce is coming together. We'll just simmer. I'm just gonna chop up a little bit of fresh parsley. I do recommend fresh if possible. Uh, the dehydrated, you can just omit that. And let's just chop, chop, chop. There we go. Beautiful. And how about a little more fresh squeezed lemon? I love the acidity. There we go. Look at that dish come together. Thank you so much today. This Escovich is just a beautiful dish. I'm Krista Van Wagner from Curly's. I want you to pass it on, join the Jamie Oliver revolution, and share this recipe with a friend. Come dine with me, Western New York.